Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a project share of my guest design team project for Scrap Diva Designs, who was Erica. And the projects I made are using these two dies, which is from her new Halloween release, which I think she recently restocked. And it is this Cauldron Shaker die set and this Witch Boot actually witch bow die set and the two dies that I use are the set of witch feet this layering piece for the boots and I'm not going to show it today but you can also use this part for the detail of the boot so let me just show you my project real quick I just posted this on Instagram yesterday and there was one or two requests for a tutorial, so I figured I'd show how I created this. I'm not gonna go into the um, all the steps to make the shaker. I'm just gonna simplify it by just cutting out the cauldron shape and showing you how to make the container portion of this. But yes, I would recommend using 110 pound cardstock if you're gonna be making this project, just because you know it makes it much sturdier. And same with the uh, witch boot bobbins. I recommend using 110 pound cardstock, which is what I did to make the uh, bobbin or floss holder part of this project. And yeah, this um, is a nice way to gift trim to your pen pals. And I made this about one and a half inches wide. And this container portion of course is tailored to the size of this cauldron. So this is about a hundred, oh sorry, one and a half inches tall and it is about um, two inches wide. And these bobbins are also about two inches tall. And I kind of eyeballed it when I made this project because I wanted the boots to be peeking over the top of this cauldron. So let me show you real quickly. Oh, and just so you know, if you were interested in finding out how I made these mini flowers, I actually use this Stampin' Up Punch which comes in really handy if you have little scraps that you want to utilize. So again, I recommend using 110 pound cardstock for this project, but today I'm just making it with uh, some 65 pound cardstock. And for the container portion of this cauldron project, you'll need a sheet of paper that is two inches tall by five inches wide. And what we'll do is we're gonna score this at one and a half inches on either side on the five inch side. For the two inch side, we're gonna score at a quarter inch on either side. So I'm gonna do that scoring off camera and be right back. Okay, now I scored again at one and a half inches in on either side of the five inch side of the paper and a quarter inch in on the two inch side of this paper. So I'm also gonna add some notches and you can kind of just eyeball this. It's not, it doesn't need to be exact. And I'm just gonna go like this. basically do this at the junction where this container is going to fold upward. So now we're going to fold in all of this where all the score marks are. Let's get these little pieces off the camera here. All right, so and what I use for my project, and you can just use tape if you want to, but um, I used wet glue in my project. So basically, this is now the container portion of the cauldron. And what you'll do is you'll glue that onto, let me zoom in a little bit. You're going to glue that to your cauldron. So let me do that really quickly off camera. Okay, so I've just glued down one side and I kind of just estimated where things should be 
you clearly don't want the container to, you know, get in the way of the handles of the cauldron. So I kind of just, you know, eyeballed it and just did my best. And when you do the other side, again, it's not an exact science. Just try to get it so that, you know, when you set your cauldron down, that it won't be too wobbly. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now, off camera. Okay, so I've just glued on the other side of my cauldron. It's, you know, it's not perfect and it doesn't need to be. I just tried my best to glue it as close to the um, edges of the cauldron as possible. And you just, you know, I kind of just tested it to make sure it didn't wobble. And, you know, it's pretty, pretty centered. So there you have it. That's how you make a 3D cauldron. And next I'll show you how to make the bobbins. And it's, again, not an exact science. So first off, I went ahead and die cut the witch's feet and boot from the dies. Project here. And next, what I kind of did ahead of time was that all I did was take one of these plastic bobbins and traced it onto a sheet of 65 pound cardstock here. I did it on pink cardstock and I did two of them because these are basically two sheets glued together just to give it some sturdiness. So I used 110 pound cardstock for these. Um, today I'm in my project here, I'm just using 65 pound cardstock, but just wanted to point out that from edge to edge, since this is not, this bobbin is not two inches long, I just traced one end and I used a ruler and kind of marked where the two inch mark would be or two inch length would be for this bobbin. And then all I'm going to do is trace this other side, kind of just using what I had already traced as a guide mark. So get my pencil and trace that. Again, not an exact science, just, you know, do your best to get that drawn out. So yeah, that's, that gives you an idea of what that one looks like. I've done also the same, marked the, the two inch mark with a little pencil mark there. And again, just gonna try to line it up. So down and then Apologize, I don't have the best camera set up, so I have to reach around my camera in order to do this. So yeah, so now all I'm gonna do is fussy cut around these and then glue these two pieces together. But before I glue it, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna put basically the witch's feet in there, like about so. And again, you want these boots, oh, sorry, I was off frame there, you want these boots to basically peek out over the cauldron. So if that's basically the base of your cauldron, you don't need to make these too, too high off of the bobbin. So kind of estimate the bottom of this cauldron with the bottom of that bobbin. So that's about, that's pretty good. But anyways, I'm going to fussy cut and then show you um, the rest of the project. Okay, so I fussy cut and also removed, erased the um, pencil marks from when I had kind of written my measurements down. So you kind of still see faintly my pencil marks there. Um, but what we'll do now is glue these two pieces together and, you know, layer on the witch's boots. So let's do that first. And if your bobbin pieces don't exactly match up, which you'll see mine do not, um, it's not a big deal. We can always trim that off um, before, oops, that was a mistake. Do not put glue all the way up to the top of the boot. You only need to have it go up part way on the legs. So just kind of eyeball it about there. Do the same for the other side. And you don't need to be too thorough here because those pieces will get 
covered by the overall bobbin piece. So that's next. all there is to it you can see it's it's not perfect but you can always trim around this later to kind of match up the bobbin pieces a bit better so it's not it's not a big deal um, but yeah this is a good way to kind of customize your uh, bobbin pieces for to customize around the width of your trims so for example you know, this, this bobbin piece will fit, looks like a, I think a one and a quarter to one and a half inch trim. So that's kind of a nice, a nice way to present it. And let's just check with our cauldron. Yeah, see the witch's boots peek out from the cauldron. So that is my project share for today. Uh, please visit Erica's channel, which is Scrap Diva. 29 on YouTube and ScrapDiva.29 on Instagram. Again, her shop is ScrapDiva Designs and her Halloween release should be restocked. Uh, things are selling fast. So yeah, thank you so much for visiting me. And Erica, thanks again for having me as your guest design team member for the month. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.